In this tutorial, we're going to look at adding particle effects into a Unity 3D scene. In this case, we're going to create some snow. So I've created a snow scene here. What we do now to create the snow is to add a particle system from the game object menu. Now the default particle system you can see here. If we just zoom in a little closer, it has a default texture that's on each particle and currently it's just creating particles and they're slowly dying if you watch one. Now we need these particles to move. So if we go over to the inspector panel here, we can create movement in these particles. So the first thing we want to do is create a particle system that spits out these particles in all directions. So in the random velocity, if we put 1, 1, 1 for the vector, you'll see that you get particles that go out in all directions from the emitter. Now of course snow falls with gravity, so we need to add a velocity that takes it downwards and we want it downwards on the particular world so in the inspector panel if we put in minus one for a vector that points down you'll see that the particles if we move out a bit are falling down but they're also drifting outwards if you want them to fall a little faster you just make that value higher and now you get quite heavy snow and it looks a bit more like rain. So let's create some more light and fluffy snow. Right, if we run that, this has got a first person walker attached to it. We just walk down a bit. You can see the snow. which needs to be moved up a bit higher above our player. Okay, so back in edit mode, we click on the particle system and select W. We can move those particles up. We probably want to put them above the player too. So if we zoom out a bit, the player is over here. So let's just move these particles over closer to the player. And see where they are. You can see that they're actually below the player at this time. Let's move them like up here. Now when we run this and we look up, we can see the particle system is there and the particles don't have enough life to make it all the way down to the ground. So we can change that by setting this maximum energy up which will make them live longer and fall further so you can see here that they're now going further. If we want more snow we change maximum emissions and so it will spit out more snow. When we go back into our scene, we can now see that the snow falls down around the player. The emitter is probably a little too far up in the air really. So we can move it down a little bit and what we can also do is increase the range of the emitter or the size of it. So down in this ellipsoid which is the size of the emitter we can change it. So if I change this to say 10 if you have a look here you can see the emitter has changed in the x-axis. Why is not that important? Because we don't really want the snow to be created on a very large Y. We go back and make the Z into 10 as well, we get a bit more widespread snow. So let's just play that. And here comes the snow. And 
And if we want to make them just a little bit bigger, if we want nice big snowballs, we can change the size there. And let's make sort of thicker snow. And run that. Here it comes. As you s can see, if you look up towards where the actual emitter is, it's much thicker. And as you move out and look that way, it shows that the illusion of snow actually goes away because it's only in one little spot. We're now going to look at attaching the snow to the player so that it looks like it's snowing everywhere. So if we just go back to play, you can see that the emitter is over there and if we move, it does not move with us. Now, uh, in this top view here that I've got, the emitter is over here and you've got your first person controller here. Uh, note, I've moved the camera so that it is directly above the player. You can see that here. Uh, and it's five above the player. So if we take our particle system and drag it onto the first person controller, we run it. Where is it? There it is. Now if we move, it will follow us. It's actually in the hill at the side at the moment, so you won't be able to see that until we move a bit out of here. There it is. Okay, doesn't look much like snow. Let's just split this view so we can see what's going on from the top view. Running this again, you can see as this first person here moves that the snow is moving w with it. And we want it to be directly over the player. So let's go back to our particle system and we change our transform to be 0 and 0 in x, y, sorry x and z, so it's directly within the range of the player and then above the player and above the camera. The camera is 5 in height, the particle system, let's just set that to 8. So now it is directly above and you can see in the game view that it is working. The nice thing about the particle system is that they will run even when the game's not running if you've got them selected. Let's run this and there's our snow. If we walk around or if we look around you can see that it's attached. If we move the snow that was there before is left behind which happens in real life but if we move quite quickly then you can see that the emitter isn't quite keeping up with us. So especially